Kemenu, the black people of ancient Egypt. Kemet. Or, more rightly so, as the Egyptians themselves called it, Tamari, the beloved land. When Egypt was occupied by the Arabs in the 7th century, they added al dash to the word Kemia, and al Kemia meaning the black land, or land of black earth is now seen as a possible origin for the word alchemy. Alchemy, from Arabic, alchemia. The ancient Egyptian word kemia means the transmutation of earth, thereby the science of matter at the atomic to molecular scale. According to some etymologists, kemia, or preparation of black powder, ultimately derived the name from Kem or Kem, Egypt, the land of black earth. Let us delve into the world of the pharaohs, black African rulers from Nubia and other areas of the south or birth of Nile River that descended upon the delta and the Mediterranean, according to archaeological records. Nubians lived in Egypt from pre-dynastic times and through all periods. They later were treated as subjects by the pharaohs of Egypt, once subjugated and dominated. Even though the rulers claim in all their sacred texts that they came from Atlantis after its destruction. As all other cultures, Egypt is guided and includes Fibo in all its arts and architecture. All other statues of pharaohs follow the same Fibo principle. This is just the sample I chose. The sacred ink is a perfect fibo. Again, the sacred angles of Fibo are given by upward and downward wings of so-called angels. No angels in question, people just got confused, it is angles, not angels. Horus holding scorpions, no more W. With now arms outstretched giving A. Most perfect ascending FIBO. Also, an inverted, descending FIBO, with a wider belt. Lions, and tigers, and bears, oh my. Or snakes, lions and gazelles, no matter what they hold, it is not about that, it is about giving them measures and angles. Fibos and angles and math, oh my. In thousands of years, the Egyptians refined the fibo, more elongated and more precise mathematically, aerodynamically perfect. Not to forget the face is a fibo, the hair sidelock is half a fibo, torso is a fibo, the necklace is a fibo, the belly and sexual organ are a fibo, the legs and calves are fibos. The sidelock of youth was an identifying characteristic of the child in ancient Egypt. 
It symbolically indicates that the wearer is a legitimate heir of Osiris. The sidelock was used as a divine attribute from at least as early as the Old Kingdom. Egyptians and other cultures often give half a fibo, even a quarter of a fibo, is enough for you to infer the rest of the measurements of entire fibo. Our faces, all faces are perfect fibos. Each and every statue, engraving, painting follow and display for us fibo rules. Needless to say, the Sphinx statue's head is also a fibo. Any resemblance between Egyptian and Maya headdress? The pyramids are of course fibos, as well as their corridors. One Half a fibo. Cut tips. Four corridors equal one full fibo. Is there a secret chamber in that square in the middle? If that is not enough of an impressive discovery, see the following that is simply gripping intense and powerful. It says it all about how FIBO was central and of utmost importance to the pharaohs and Egyptians. As well as later adopted by Jesus and Christians, the staff and the rod. Psalm 23 verse 4 KJ 21 Yeah. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Open your eyes. At heart level is Fibo. Tate or top. Tate or Ta is the architect of heaven and earth. 
the creator and father of all gods of the Egyptian pantheon. Fibo is ever-present and in perfect measure and form. The Eagle and the Snake Perfect Fibo. We assume it is an eagle, but it looks more like a condor to me. Which would mean as they themselves claim, that they came from Atlantis, today's Americas. Tamari, Egypt, is America. See the work of this brilliant researcher, as well as others. Horus, Amon, Isis. Also, Amon, Ammon, Amen, Amana. Bess, Dwarf God. Mother of all gods, Goddess Nut. Mother of all gods, Goddess Nut, Newt, of the heavens, and God Geb, of the earth. Top half of Fibo. Isis on her flying pillow. The pyramid of... The Pyramid of Saqqara is the perfect example again of a FIBO. It has five tiers, five steps, five levels. That is the most typical number of steps on the upper half of FIBO. The belt has one step between the top and bottom of FIBO, and four steps below, coming to number 10. The scarab is a FIBO and another bomb. Are you ready?
Have you heard of the Ark of the Covenant? Okay, fasten seat belts tightly, please. The Egyptians, carrying the Ark of the Covenant, that the Israelites stole it from. No lines needed, you can clearly see the FIBO. Perfect FIBO. Super perfect FIBO. And here is a perfect FIBO with a cartouche and belt in the middle. Egyptians always expected you to fill in the gaps. With Isis coming up, they give only a third of a FIBO, and with that you can get the exact measurements of the entire FIBO. Eventually, only the belt measurements gives you the entire FIBO. More powerful material is coming. We are still going to be continuing our journey in Egypt and unravel the math of their architecture in FIBO mathematical terms. FIBO is the master plan 